guys, welcome to Truck and Travel. I'm Cinnamon. Uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys around the inside of our sleeper of our 2019 Freightliner Cascadia. So we're gonna go ahead and start in the front. Um, right up here, we have uh, door pockets on both sides and actually because of the times we're living in right now. Uh, we each have a bottle of Lysol, so we sprayed the bottom of our feet because we both have, um, we have two cats also and we don't want them to smell the bottom of our shoes. But we also keep WD-40, I highly recommend it um, in the pocket because whenever you're going through a snowy area, you're gonna get salt on your lock in the back and sometimes it'll stick. Uh, it's for your ratchets and all that too. And then we have uh, different sets of gloves on both sides. So depending on uh, if you're with your team driver, what side of the truck they're on so that they can get them fast and easy when we go to deliver. So that's what's inside our door. Over here we have, uh, on the 2019 Tascadia, we have two cup holders, um, which we usually have a coffee and a water, or we'll have like our water and, uh, and energy drinks and everything. We keep our cards up here too, hand sanitizer. Um, we actually put this thing in and this will, this holds our phone. Um, and we have our, uh, our Bluetooth headset over here, which is very convenient too. So we have two different uh, GPS's, one's right here, one's up here, it's easier um, because we've actually come into a couple different spots where it um, one doesn't, takes you all the way down the highway, makes you turn around and go a different way, like it, instead of just turning right. And so it's nice to have two different ones because they're different years also. We have pens up here which are easy to get and we have them on both sides and we have the kind that have uh, where you can use it on the on the ceiling like any kind of screen so it's convenient we have our sunglasses and then there's two different nets up here this one we keep some snacks in and some extra napkins if we need them um, our mask to go inside and our badges are up here also so they're easily accessible and then in that one I keep my brush because I have long hair and then <laughs> in here we have receipts um, and some extra glasses and we actually, it was really nice, Derek put some LED lights um, on the, the border up here and then also in the back. So if you're in the back, sometimes when I'm trying to, he's trying to get me to wake up and stuff, he'll put just that light on so it's not this overwhelming, powerful light, you know, when, first thing when you're trying to wake up. So that's very nice. And then this is just nice because then we can kind of see where the cats are without having to put the lights on or anything like that. Um, so up here wanted to show you guys we have um, just some stuff that we're gonna use a lot that doesn't we don't want to put in cupboards and stuff so we have um, some of our seals that we use um, on the back of the truck extra glasses this is so when we're sitting down in here it's easy to grab it this is a book for um, that we just hand to like if we get pulled over so we hand to the DOT officer or police officer that has all of our certificates and everything that we need underneath it is another uh, notebook or a full binder and it has um, just different receipts and stuff that we need for the owner because uh, we drive for a fleet owner. This stack is um, my kind of paperwork, my calendar and that kind of stuff. This has like BOLs, a stack over here and it has like our, our clipboard that we keep up here too, hats and stuff because we go to places where it gets cold. Um, and then over here is a bunch of different medical stuff like gloves and band-aids and a heating pad. So if you're in the front and you're not, not Par or if you're parked for a while and it gets cold, we use that a lot, you know, while the other person in the back is sleeping. And then on both sides, we actually have uh, hooks. So this side is designated for my coats and stuff. That side is designated for Derek's. And behind this seat, we actually keep our uh, chairs that we we pull out. So if we're parked for at a place for a while and we want to relax and stuff and enjoy the sunshine, depending on where we're at, we pull those out. And then. We also have our vacuum down here, and we actually put a towel over it because um, something I definitely wanna uh, suggest is that if you are in a truck, it's constantly moving, so if it's leaning against something, you wanna put that so then it doesn't rub against anything. And then on this side, we have, underneath Derek's coats and stuff, we have our trash, which is very convenient because when you're sitting down and you just go to grab or throw something away, you can do it while you're sitting there. Okay. So in the back, the way that we have it, uh, it organized is Derek's mom is amazing and actually made these uh, towels and sewed them together because sometimes while the person is sleeping, especially if they wake up very easily, 
if you come in the back here and even if you're very quiet and stuff, you can let in light and everything. So I'm gonna show you real quick. We have this system where we use the different, uh, we use these clips to kind of hold these together. So then the person who's in the sleeper is not going to see any light or anything. So if you need to get a drink or, um, or make your food or anything like that, you can be in there. Um, so, <laughs> and then we actually had to connect this one over here because our one cat, Caleb, would jump up onto where the sink is and climb over here to where our head was. So then this way he can't get in here. So over here we have a sink. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up real quick. Okay, over here is our sink. We have like a, a little container here for our, our remotes and everything that we need beside our bed. Um, so the sink's over here, got paper towels. And this is where all of our controls are for the air conditioning, APU, uh, the light, the fans over here. We have a little remote for the fan and the heating. Um, under here, uh, this is just like one of those drawers that slightly opens. And so we actually have different scents in here that we use for like uh, after the, you know, if we want to just have our diffuser going or anything, it's back here too. Underneath, um, this actually goes to one of the toolboxes that is outside. Um, so we do have our um, container that has um, the different reflective triangles and safety gear in here. And then we also have a big, um, a big container of our cat food and stuff. And so when we go to feed them, it's in here and it's away, tucked away and everything. Up here, uh, since we don't get into here that much, we have like our safety helmet or is it safety helmets or hats. Um, <laughs> in case uh, certain places have a, your construction hat, that's what I'm thinking of. And then extra like litter and cat stuff and Lysol wipes and stuff we keep up here. Um, over here, our closet, we actually have, um, we have a box of different kinds of shoes. So then that way we're not tripping over a bunch of different shoes that we need. Um, and then Derek and I both have our designated places that we keep certain clothes that we've only worn like once. And if we're changing from our FedEx, you know, uniform into, uh, our regular clothes or whatever we can just go and grab them so I keep mine here and his is over there like right where the the bed is um so we also have a porta potty this is for emergencies um if we can't if a shipper won't let us use the bathroom um or if just we're out in the middle of nowhere and there's no truck stops to be seen so we have this and then um we also have this like board back here for exercising and stuff too. So we just kind of tape this up. It's, it's easy to pull it out and get it. And then we also have like our FedEx hats and our reflective gear and safety coats or PPE or and stuff are in there. And then uh, we also have two drawers down there. That's where we keep uh, extra cat stuff. So the cat, the wet food, um, the pads that we change out for our cat litter and that kind of stuff too. Um, over here for the top rows, uh, we keep our shower stuff in here. We have our designated bags that we take out. And then over here, we actually keep our coffee pot that we take out and then our coffee's in there too. Now, in the Cascadia Freightliner, there's a lot of storage spaces, but there's smaller um, like spaces in there. It's different per sleeper company that makes them. So it's not really the Freightliner. Oh, okay. Oh, so cat. So it's it a, depends on how they make them. It's a and, double A sleeper. This one is. Um, and, and so the they corner, could make them different. Yeah. They're not all the same. Yeah. So on this one, uh, the corner ones are actually bigger. And so we have uh, we have a lot of stuff for like YouTube. And then down here in this this bottom one, you guys can see there's a bottom row of cupboards too. That's where we keep our pots and pans, our cookware, our extra bottles for water, um, like jugs and stuff. And so whenever you are doing laundry, since there isn't a ton of room in here, we use, um, we don't have like a laundry rack, especially because the cats could rub against it and get cat hair. So in this cupboard over here, we actually keep a bunch of different uh, hangers. So then that way we can hang it up on the different like little knobs and stuff to air dry whatever laundry that needs to be air dried. There's our mirror. Um, <laughs> so uh, I actually, you'll find this too if you're a team driver, if you have a lady uh, team driver, we have a lot of clothes and different stuff <laughs> that we like, like makeup and all that. So, so in here I have um, like winter clothes 
And then, actually this is winter clothes. This is just some extra miscellaneous stuff. And we have enough cupboards where we can actually take some books and stuff with us. Um, so like right in here, <laughs> I like to, we're, we're doing keto and we're doing Dave Ramsey. So that's the majority of our books that we like to, you know, have. And when we're at home, we like to trade it out too. Um, so we have some extras in here. In here, we have to keep like a printer and uh, our laundry supplies, like the, the detergent and all that kind of stuff because you're gonna have to uh, sometimes print off um, if you have a new license that you know you renewed or something and you need to have it in your folder. Um, so you need a printer in here too. And that one isn't too big, so that's nice. So over here, right where the bed is, um, it's nice because you can actually uh, reach this. There's an outlet, uh, here's where the light is and then you have the air is over here and you can control the temperature and you have an extra light over here which is awesome too and then let's see so this big corner one uh since i have uh probably like four or five different smaller cabinets <laughs> Derek gets the the big corner pieces so that's where his clothes and stuff go in um so over here so that's like exercising clothes these are let me see, shirts, and then there's pants in here. So these are all cinnamons and they're very easy to access, which is very nice, Derek's awesome. Um, and then up here is where we have um, our, our bowls and um, just some extra cooking stuff that we use all the time. So we have um, different silverware and stuff. So all we have to do is take the bowl and pull it down if like you can't reach it or anything like that. There's extra cups in there too. And then in this one we have um, all of our DVDs that we like to use and then um, some extra hair stuff. Electronics, there's our TV and we actually, when we think about it sometimes, if a shipper is taking a long time and we're kind of stuck, we like to play, uh, what is it, go-kart racing, uh, Mario racing <laughs> uh, while we're waiting. And then we have this, uh, this fan that has like a HEPA filter and everything in it because it helps like with the cats and all. Um, over here we have a fridge and then this one has like vitamins and salt and pepper and like just some miscellaneous stuff that we need to um, like you know scissors and then we have this tool and just some miscellaneous stuff over here um, we've probably rearranged stuff probably I'd say at least 10 to 15 times because we're getting to learn what we need more what needs to be accessible and all that stuff too so in this one, we actually have our towels and then we have some uh, water that's not from home because we like our water from home. So we keep that in our fridge stocked up. Um, but the other water we use for like our cats and for um, just if we need it to do dishes, we put it in a bowl and we heat it up if we haven't been able to fill up the water in the truck. Because uh, a lot of places, especially in the north, will shut it off during the winter because uh, it gets too cold. So underneath here, we have where the cats eat, so we have their dishes are under here. Um, these bags, I would highly recommend them. They are, I think it's like three bucks, that's it, um, from Ikea. And so this is actually what we uh, put our laundry in. So there's a handle in it and a, you know, a big zipper and stuff. So uh, once this gets really full, which it is, we're gonna have to be doing laundry pretty soon. Um, it's just easy to slide in and out and, and to hold. And there's a big strap too, so you can actually wear it like a backpack. Um, which Derek usually does and then we have the cat litter over there and I will say that we have like uh, the the bags and stuff to the cat litter and the brushes and all that other stuff over here too so this is kind of like our cat corner and then our getting ready corner and yeah <laughs> so um if you guys have any questions about anything oh and there's two really nice windows like one on each side um, so you can actually take these down and have this and open the windows and stuff, um, which is nice to have like the APU off sometimes and just enjoy like a breeze and stuff. Um, so thank you so much guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about the sleeper, like, um, any questions at all, uh, let us know in the comments, hit the subscribe button, share this. Uh, thank you guys for joining and for watching. So I wanted to tell you guys that our fleet owners is looking for a team to drive. Uh, they got about three trucks opening up pretty soon, including the one behind me, which is currently ours. We're going to be moving up to a three axle one. 
So there's going to be two, two or three trucks opening, I believe, coming up pretty soon. Pre-application down below in the description if you want to fill that out. So it doesn't guarantee you a spot, but at least it puts your foot in the door for an opportunity to drive for our fleet owners. Uh, they're great people. I'm glad we drive for them. You know, after driving for them this long, I don't think I would want to drive for anybody else. Very satisfied. Uh, we thought about owning our own truck, but right now we're content with just being with uh, Aaron and Dave. We're really grateful for our opportunity. And so if you'd like one, down below, fill it out. And God bless and have a good day. Thanks, guys. <laughs>